Okay, we're recording. Okay, everyone, hi again. Uh, this is Gordon Einstein, your Dubai resident crypto and blockchain attorney. I'm continuing this lovely sh series of short, impactful YouTube videos where I talk to really cool people who are doing really cool things. Uh, we're going to have a very long term friend of mine on the show and a new friend or collaborator on the show. Uh, so let's go one by one. This is my actually first time. Uh, since the reboot of this series that I've interviewed two people on the show. We almost, you can almost say this is a panel, but maybe it's just more like a big collaboration. So, Vasilisa, give us give us the real short version of you, and then we'll introduce George, and then we'll go into the details. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Gordon, for having us today. Honestly, like, I know that you've been running shows for so long, so it's it's the first time I'm actually participating, so I'm super excited. Thank you for inviting. So, yes, my name is Vasilisa Marinchuk. Most of the people call me just Vasi, so I will make it easy for everybody. Yes. Uh, I've been in the crypto, like, and web free world since 2016, more or less, doing many mm -hmm. things, advising, running events. Uh, which is actually my favorite thing is to run run the events. Uh, mm -hmm. Used to be one of the founders of the Central Blockchain of Catalonia, working together with the government to promote the blockchain in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, also was living in Dubai for some time. Uh, really love the place. Uh, Gordon, you choose uh, you choose well. <laughs> to we we, we miss you and, and you're welcome back. And we, we have a guest bedroom waiting for you. Awesome, awesome, certainly coming. Always, always like to visit Dubai. Even in the hot summer, it's still good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so right now I'm directing, co-directing the Dax Force Festival with George and with this I will pass the word to him. Go ahead. Uh, actually, yes, and then we'll come back to you. George, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Gordon. Thank you very much uh, for this interview. Uh, sorry, because my, my, my English is not very, very, very good but I will try to explain myself a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, as Vasilisa says, uh, I am a co-director of Dex for Festival. Uh, I am in, more in, in charge of uh, the, you know, the shows, the performance, the artist, um, uh, and the, well, the, 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 the funny um, things of the, the of the event, mm -hmm. but um, obviously with the the, 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 the work of and, and the support of Basi, because mm -hmm. he's the, the, the best uh, <laughs> colleague that I have uh, ever, como decirlo en español, en inglés, uh, que, que se puede tener, because she's, she's awesome. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the, um, you know, the, the Dex Force Festival uh, from the last year was you you were you were there. In the, I was there. The next one. You were there. Um, you hey, when, whenever yes. she invites me, I come. And I love, <laughs> and I love Barcelona. Um, well, this this year will be. I, I, sorry, again. I, I gotta say that this that my my fiance and I, now wife, our second date was because of Vasilisa and the I guess the prior iteration of her show. And so it, it has a very deep significance. You you are responsible for our marriage, and you'll probably be soon responsible for a baby. Me and, and the whiskey. Well, I know. The whiskey. <laughs> whiskey is great. So you need to do that again. But anyway, anyways, keep, keep going. Yes. So. No, no, yeah, yeah. The, uh, we pretend to be that. Well, no, I, I don't know if it is good to say this, but we want to make another edition, like like the, the edition that was uh, the last year. Mm -hmm. um, I am completely sure that we will do it again, but but yeah, this is our 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 job for this uh, for this event uh, to be the 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 directors of the most fun uh, crypto blockchain with free event in the world. I said. <laughs> I think George is, is actually, fun. you know, he, he he's hiding some information. Besides being the director of the Dax Force, he's actually an amazing musician. He's okay. a drummer in the band yes. and also like a DJ. So, you know, yes. that's why we are kind of like, because my background is in that free, his background in music. And yeah. we're making this fusion together to make the Dax Force as, as insane as it is. That's and it. actually, that's you know, it. it always features good music. So we'll, 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 we'll get into the details in a second. In a second, okay, Vasi, let me let me ask you because I'm asking everyone, where are you from? I'm from Russia. Uh, born and raised in Moscow, living in Barcelona, Moscow, Dubai, anywhere where life takes me. 
Okay. <laughs> did you, uh, and I ask everyone this. You're, where, where were you born in, in Russia? You said Moscow, right? So Yeah. And then uh, where did you go to school? What did you study? I went in school in Moscow. I actually went to three or four schools because I was always changing. Not because it was like something bad with me. Okay. Uh, it was just my parents were always looking for the better school so that I can get into the university. It was so it was because it was a difficult time of 90s in Russia, you know, when everything was yeah, yeah. destroyed. So you're always looking for the best thing. Uh, that's why basically I got my education there. But in summers I was spending in UK learning English mostly. So that's why I'm probably I'm, I'm quite exposed to the Western world. And that right. was easier for me later to, to to bring up the career like so internationally. Right. And then how, at what point did you emigrate or move out of Russia? And where did you go next? Uh, because like, well, I've been working in Russia for a long time. And then I was just uh, taking my MBA. So okay. I joined the IE business school. Uh, which is in Madrid, one of the best schools in Europe. And after that, uh, originally when I was going there, I thought I'm going to come back and continue with the corporate career. But actually, after that, I, I wanted to to do some challenging and interesting stuff with startups, with entrepreneurship. And this is when I actually stepped in into the crypto world mm -hmm. because I joined a company named Wavecrest uh, mm -hmm. in Gibraltar, which was one of the first... Uh, one of the first companies who actually provided the prepaid cards for wallets and exchanges for their clients to be able to pay in crypto in real world, just like this, without, mm -hmm. you know, exchanging and going to the shady people. Uh, that is how I learned from that company, like, what is the Bitcoin? What are the other cryptocurrencies, the altcoins? And how is mm -hmm. it all happening? And you can imagine it was the time of the, all these ICOs happening around. So yeah. completely uh, crazy wild west. But... Yeah, so that's how it happened. Okay, we're, we're going to go into details. So I, I'm just curious. Okay, so if you were from Russia and studying UK, how did you choose to go to graduate school in Spain? That's an interesting choice. Uh, well, I've been looking into British schools as well. That's honestly so. But I know, I mean, when you're applying to many schools, uh, you're choosing what you have. Uh, right. To be honest, what I really liked about Madrid, it was because the school was in the city center. So it wasn't yeah. lost, for example, like in Seattle, which is an amazing school again, but it's in summer in Fontainebleau. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you want to be in Paris, right? In this case, you are in the middle of Madrid. Uh, and the school was having some very good rankings comparing to most of the UK schools, because yeah. the best ones would be Said in Oxford, right? But then you like you have to think that you're going to be in a very different environment, much more corporate, much more um, preserved, if I can say. Well, mm -hmm. i.e., as a school, uh, is very diverse. It's mm. very entrepreneurial. They, 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 <clears throat> the whole campus is like a Google office, you know? So that was very interesting to explore. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Okay, and, and then it's, it's interesting though, because your UK background probably came in useful when you were working with Gibraltar, because now you're back on an overseas territory there, but right off of Spain. So it's the, it's the perfect combination. Um, what was the very first moment when you had your crypto blockchain Bitcoin realization? What when when did the lightning strike? When it went, when did you become aware of it? Well, I mean, I came aware of that actually. Well, maybe I heard about that something, right? So when they offered me the job in in, in that company, I was like, "Did you hear anything about Bitcoin?" Like, I heard, but I always like everybody at that time, oh, it's probably a scam or something weird or strange. Yeah, everyone said that. But when I started to work with that, uh, more and more I started to realize the value behind. And But I, I tell you that probably until the uh, 2017 or 18, so maybe one or only one and a half year later, it's just only that I actually read the white paper. And when I read the white paper, everything has changed. I'm like, oh my God, that's really a thing. <laughs> Interesting. You know, you're, you're, I read it several times, but you're inspiring me to reread it because I, I, I noticed that it's, it's not that paper changes, it's that I change. As I get a deeper understanding of the world around me and I go back and I look at it, it's almost like a religious text, right? You know, or seeing a movie again. It is. You know, you, you go and see it again and the movie's different. Well, the movie's not different. You're different. So you're seeing a different thing in the movie. Exactly. And you open it up something new or some layers which you didn't realize that it's actually a very fundamental work. It's yeah. pretty small, but it is fundamental work. Yes, and, and you have to dive into it. I, I like it. So tell me, 
and, you, and George, well, believe me, you'll get equal time. So just let me kind of complete with her, and then we'll move to you. Again, first time having two guests on the show, so I'm, I'm trying to manage this. Um, so when did you start your involvement with conferences and with shows, and how did that evolve? Okay, that's a new, very interesting story. <laughs> so basically, there was a moment when I was already like working uh, in, let's say, in blockchain space and web free space. But for some reason, actually for the personal reasons, I had to go back to my country and undertake mm -hmm. a work there, uh, which it was out of blockchain and everything. It was actually petrochemical. <laughs> okay. So doing some project management there. Uh, but I was still like on the background doing the things con concerning the blockchain, not really going out of the of, of the thing. It's just not your daily job anymore. Sure. So there, uh, at a certain point, I was just, for some reason, one of the directors, they asked me to run a mini conference inside of the company, which I did. And when I uh, finally, I left the company and everything, uh, I arrived to Barcelona and I met with a few friends, which I had there. And we started to think what we can do uh, because I came there without a job, without anything, but just like, let's see, let's, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, and we started to think of what we can do. And we decided to do like a Barcelona blockchain week. Mm -hmm. uh, and we involved the local government and different entities and different uh, communities around. And we're on a show. Like, uh, finally, it wasn't as big as we would like it to be because, again, financing was the issue. We were already past the like ICO hype, so we were already like sliding down into the winter. But yeah. it's okay. I mean, that was the moment actually to start and run a really big show, and you were there. Uh, actually, that's when we we met, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so I appreciate you you being there on my first first big real event, which was Democracy for All, mm -hmm. uh, in the same place as we was around the Dark Festival. With, with, with a name like that, I couldn't miss it. You, you <laughs> that, was a, that was a great name. So the, the, the you and the name was like I, I'm in Barcelona. It's like I'm there's no way I'm not gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, like, some people say, tell me that you're in a brand there, okay? But yeah. thank you so much, appreciating that. So yeah. th th this is how the event started. And you remember that my first event, it was amazing in terms of the great. people who came here and they have been a little bit understaffed and everything. We've been so much out of schedule. Like, we've been so late on everything, which actually for you was good because I think you, you were not very feeling well that day. But it doesn't matter. For me, it was like, okay, I have to change something. Already the second event, everything was like a Swiss clock. Mm -hmm. Like, pam, 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 pam. And this is what I always tell George about <laughs> when I'm scheduling, like I'm making the agenda and making the, the stage work. Mm -hmm. I want everything like be like this, like five seconds maximum. This is the delay. No more. Wow. <laughs> that, 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 I, I, like the, I like the regimentation. Now, let me ask you. So you were, you know, between Russia, UK, Gibraltar, Madrid, you ended up in Barcelona, which is obviously a beautiful, wonderful city. But how did that happen? Barcelona was actually a choice. So because I was, so look, I was living in Madrid, then I moved to Gibraltar, then I moved to Moscow for some time. And then I was okay, I want to go back to Spain. Uh, and I'm like, where should I go? My Spanish is still horrible. I mean, it's improving little by little, but over all of these years, so we're talking about the period from 2014 till today, I'm still not speaking actually Spanish properly. Wow. Uh, and then I was like, okay, where people would understand me better. Yes. The most cosmopolitan city of the entire Spain is Barcelona. So, okay, let's try Barcelona. <laughs> it was like literally taking the point on the map. That That's actually pretty funny because here I am in Dubai and it, I don't need to speak Arabic. You know, it's just English is fine. So you, you kind of made yeah. a similar choice. That, that's, that's interesting. I like it. And before we get into experts, okay, now, now I want to bring George back into the conversation. George, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Oviedo. Asturias, the north of Spain. Do you know it? <laughs> I, 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 the only reason I know it is because in Vicky Cristina Barcelona, Javier Bardim asks the two of them if he, they want to spend some time in an Oviedo with him. So I don't know if you remember that movie, but that's the one reference I know of Oviedo. And I can't oh, believe... Yeah, it's a good island film, no? Isn't it? Yeah, so I, I can't believe I remember... It's not set in Oviedo, but uh, he invites... Carla Johansson and that other actress to go to Oviedo with him to drink some wine, to see the art, and to you know spend some romantic time together. And I, yeah. I, I, can't, I cannot believe I got that reference from a movie that came <clears> out <throat> over a decade ago with Woody with Woody Allen. But yes, I know Oviedo only from that movie. 
but good yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, from Vietnam, yeah. Um, I uh, well, uh, I have lived in Madrid, in Coruña, Mallorca, and now in Barcelona. From for right now, I'm here till 2016. Okay. Uh, but I always live in, in, in Spain. I don't move uh, as Basilisa around the world, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I, I, I change a lot my, my, my places uh, for living. But right now in Barcelona, I am very happy since uh, 2016 mm -hmm. um, because the weather, you know, the vibes, the, the people, uh, the music, uh, the opportunities in the mm -hmm. music industry. Uh, this kind of, you know, uh, the, my, my, uh, um, como, como decirlo, mi, mi ambiente, no, my, uh, mi, mis conexiones. Uh, aquí, here in, in, in Barcelona, mm -hmm. we have a lot of good connections, uh, good artists, good uh, um, ways to make, you know, uh, opportunities uh, always inside the music industry. That is my, 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 my world right now, mm -hmm. because from, uh, I am uh, by profession. I am an architect. <laughs> an architect. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, let, 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 let's put that. We'll, we'll, there we'll... are buildings in Barcelona. He can tell you he was actually uh, yeah. not building, right? Uh, planning. Designing. Yeah. yeah. So you're, you're from Obeda. Where, where did you go to school? Uh, I well, in my my high school. I was in Oviedo. Then I studied in Madrid. The the career. You know, okay, and did he, did he study architecture in Madrid? Yes, yeah, in the okay, Universidad yeah, Politécnica de Madrid, a, a public university. Not well, well I, 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 I studied the, the master, you know, the a master class um, mm -hmm. master in the European, European Universidad Europea de Madrid, European University of Madrid. That's an international college, but. Okay. Uh, my my whole career was in uh, La Politécnica, the, the public. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I studied in Madrid, the, my, the, the, the architect. <laughs> and then, and then, and how, how long did you practice as an architect? How, how many years? Uh, 10, 12 years, more or less. Uh, right now, I'm still doing some kind of projects, uh, but very, very small projects. For friends, family, you know, very uh, uh, direct people. Because mm -hmm. right now I'm very focused on the in the music, in the you know the uh, my this kind of works. Always uh, they are related with the world of music, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, I'm still doing my little projects for this uh, this connections, no more more deep connections, not. A, a real client, you know, mm -hmm. that you know. Um, you have to be that. very special so, yeah. so George will work with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm, flattered. He's, I'm flattered he's even on the show. That's cool. And then uh, George, tell me about your musical soul and, and what kind of musician you are. Or what, what do you do with music? Uh, uh, I love playing funky music. I am, okay, I am a drummer uh, that play, can play every style, every kind of music, right? But I love playing funky music like James Brown, uh, Matteo Parker, this, you know, this uh, old funky music, not the funky music that uh, plays right now in, in these years. You mean, you mean but, like 70s? Uh, uh, sorry? You mean like funk music from the 70s? Like kind of disco? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but right now, about. I... I, I'm a, a, a little bit focused también in the, in the um, electronic, funky music. I love that kind of kind of music. Uh, and okay, I, I play in different kind of bands, uh, more like indie pop bands, but not uh, that uh, rock bands that you can, you know, feel like uh, okay, this is a, the band of, of a, a group of friends. No, I am in. Three different, uh, um, how much is in English? Uh, emergency, no, um, emerge, emerge, emerging, emerging. Emerge. Yeah, uh, I can't tell you the names, but I don't want to do come uh, spoiler, no, uh, promotion. You, you, you know, <laughs> see, I can look, do it. You're, you're not paying me, it's it's just a friendly conversation. What, what band oh. are you doing? Uh, well, my, my project is called Holograma with two M's, okay, two M's. 
Um, the second that I, I participate is called Mariana Tambe. Uh, today I will play in, you know, Sala Apollo is one, the one of the biggest uh, clubs here in Barcelona that are, it's amazing. Um, with Tauro Music, that is a guy who is like uh, very uh, indie, more pop electronic music, uh, mm -hmm. but but yeah, it's amazing. You can find it in, in Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, whatever. Actually, um, we're gonna plus... do, we're gonna do better than that. We're going to put in the YouTube description and the LinkedIn description for this video. We're going to put links to yeah. your music. Yeah. Okay, so you, you'll give me the you'll give me the links and then I'll publish it. And my huge subscriber base will start listening to your music. Huge. <laughs> so there you go. Up oh, the George Freeth. Awesome. <laughs> Cool. Uh, and you then, see, he was just, you know, so frozen. Just he's wow. like, oh my gosh, you're going to be published. Okay, so, that, so that's awesome. You're in these bands. Now, bring me forward, both of you, and take turns however you want to do it. Bring me forward to Dex Force. And even before you comment, I'm just going to say, I've been, you know, Vasilisa, I've been with you for a few conferences. I was with Dex Force last time. Your venue is amazing. The vibe is amazing. And it's just a very unusual experience, not like a regular conference. I don't, I don't know if I even want to call it a conference. I guess it is because people come and they get on stage and they talk and people listen. But I mean, just the venue itself, the vibe and the energy of that place is crazy. And there has, there's a lot of production value involved. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop talking because I don't want to steal the show here. But I just wanted to tell the audience, this is great. So folks, tell me about Dex Force, the whole idea. Go. Well, before we move into the tax for I still, I, I, yeah, I love the venue. <laughs> this yeah. venue is a, it's a special one. The name is Yoja de Mar. It's right in the city center of Barcelona. It's a historical building. I mean, the essence of the building goes back to the 14th century, but yeah. the main building is, of course, 18th century. So it's naturally a palace with nine spaces uh, on three different floors. Each room is decorated differently. Like you have a huge Gothic hall there. Then you have like a golden room and then the room full of portraits and now a wonderful patio where you can, you know, have a, have a drink, smoke, whatever you want. So mm -hmm. all that is just amazing. Like this place is from the first event I ran in Barcelona. We've been, I remember this. We've been going around the city, sitting, seeing different venues for our first event mm -hmm. and they're all boring. They're all the same. It's a conventional, these places, you know, firas. Mm -hmm. And then we came to that place and I'm like, I don't know how much that would cost us. I don't know what and how, but if we do anything, we do it here. And yeah. since then, I don't know, I have this special connection with this place. So anything I do is always happening there. It's not that there are no other places and they are also amazing, but this place is just special to me personally. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I'm so happy that the Dex Force, at least its first editions are running there because it's wonderful. I mean, George can 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 speak his uh, feelings about the place because I introduced him to that place and we were mm -hmm. looking into different locations as well, honestly, because this is what you do professionally. Sure. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Uh, it's a point of culture, architect, uh, it's amazing. Actually, it's yeah, a, it's, it's, a, it's a palace. You have to really appreciate it, right? Yeah, yeah. When I saw it for the first time and when Basilisa mm -hmm. uh, told me about the place, uh, I completely be in love, you know, like, man, we have to do it here. No, um, it, it, it will not work in another space if it is not here, you know, because the... Um, the concept that of the two worlds, no, yeah, the the, the festival and and the um, congress mm -hmm. uh, merge here in this space is like, man, two worlds in this space will be awesome. Um, you know, like uh, the, the, all the things, the concept, the space, like everything, uh, match it, uh, todo yes. cuadrado, perfecto. Y es como wow and. Um, this edition was I was thinking about like this, you know, we have to do it again here because it's a magical space for us and for and I think for 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 a completely event. Um, and that's it. Yeah, George, when, 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 when I finally learned Spanish, sometime in 2027 or 28, can we do this again, all in Spanish? 
Uh, my, my disc this description? My, uh, the... No, 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 no. Wait, I, I'm, I'm kind of kidding, but I'm, I'm kind of not, which is I, I'm learning German now, and then Russian is next, and then Arabic, and then I'm trying to decide whether French or Spanish is next. But by, by the time that happens, it'll be 2027 or 2028, because I'm, I'm pretty far along in German. But then Russian next is going to take a long time. Then I kind of know some Russian, and then I need, but Arabic is a hard language. So Spanish will be next. And if we're still in, in contact, I want to do a podcast. I want to do a video with you in 2020 <laughs> in, in Spanish. So I'm committing you now in 2024. Do you agree? See or no? Is... Oh, wow, oh, oh. es, es, me, me, me estás pillando un poco desprevenido. Ah, Jorge me... quiere hacer otra entrevista contigo en tres años. ¿Está ah, bien? Que... Sí o no? Sí, pero en español. Sí, claro. <laughs> sí, sí, why not? Yeah, 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 okay. yes, yes. Okay, no, amigo. Okay, so that's <laughs> and, I, and I'm from Los Angeles, so I, I should know much more. Okay, now great. Venue is awesome. It's it's like it inspires you. Dex horse. Tell me about it. Tell me about George, that. George, you start. This time, George, you start. George. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, about Dex horse, the, the 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 whole event. You want information or for, for this year? Like last that. year. Um, well, uh, the X-Force Festival, it's uh, the, the combination of a congress of uh, blockchain, uh, pardon, blockchain, um, uh, Web3, crypto, um, technology, IA, mm -hmm. uh, plus a, a party inside the same place. Yeah. You know, it's like it, it, uh, it is a so, festival. It's not just a yeah, it's, it's, convention. It's, it is a festival, oh, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Originally it's it's a festival, but well, you, you know, you have to think that okay, this is uh at the place that will happen uh, uh, a lot of things happen. So mm -hmm. or it's a congress plus activities, uh, workshops, um, uh, funny things. Uh, and it's like, like, a, a, like a, 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 a original day. This, this concept was from, it's from Basilisa. It's like an, uh, you know, como era el, la, Alicia en el País de las Maravillas, Alicia in Wonderland, you know? Like oh yeah, Alice in the Wonderland. Yeah, yeah. But when too yeah. many things happen all at the same time. Yeah. Basically, because we're living in the different layers. Um, yeah. The idea is that the people should exactly get at, point, at some point lost what is happening. They, because this is, I want that, and I want also this, and I want this, because, oh, this is an interesting talk on the stage. But there is a meditation session going there. I also want to be there. Ah, there are people dancing, actually, in the patio. I want to be there. So people should be overwhelmed with everything which is going on. Because the life is very fast, and this is how the Dax Force is. It's super fast, and everything happens, and you have to make priorities and try to actually grab everything and everywhere. But yeah. at the same time, I would say that the whole idea behind, and for me, it's always, and I think for George as well, he, he very much sharing these ideas with me, is that why do we all go to events, festivals, uh, congresses, conferences, a lot of things with going there to meet the other people? Yeah. literally well we call it in, in business we call it networking but from what i learned going to many conferences as a speaker as attendee as exhibitor as whatever is that how it happens you meet 100 people you give them your business card and then you don't remember even the face of these people that's horrible that doesn't work so for me it's always important to create emotions of the people and let them speak to twice or three times less of the people Mm -hmm. during the event but make a very uh, bounded connections uh, meaningful conversations let them spend time in a way relaxed when they stop putting their masks on their faces instead mm -hmm. they go and play, play ping pong together meanwhile yeah. discussing some things hey what do you do oh you have that talking or i'm doing this development and this Ah, okay, yeah let's have a let's have a chat you know but yeah. in the meantime you also do a lot of things on top of that. So that's why the whole tax force is a, this uh, a convergence of the, the world music, because all of us, like 
the life is a music in a way, the life is a theater in the stage. And of course, the business essence of, of this. That's why we always keep a lot of uh, focus on what's happening on the stage, mm -hmm. that the companies who are presenting or the companies who are exhibiting, they have uh, the possibility to meet the other like uh, business professionals the way they are comfortable with. Uh, but at the same time, people who are just curious in the in the industry, they also feel welcomed. Not that they, oh my God, we are stupid, we don't know anything. No, no, no. Come, come, learn. Yeah. Learn from scratch. People here are very happy. And in the web-free space, most of the people are super happy to tell you mm -hmm. everything, like from ABC, you know, this is Bitcoin, welcome. <laughs> right? So this is know, what they have next now, space. They're, they're happy to explain Bitcoin, which they is not a lot like a lot i mean the, the, the thing is it's like me you even Hori here like and the people who come in usually to all the conference we live in still in the bubble when yes. you go out mm -hmm. there most of the people have never heard about the blockchain still still yeah. it's the thing yeah. not in dubai maybe but in europe for sure i promise you yeah well, okay. well I, I, i'm gonna touch briefly on yeah i i have no fear so there is a political component to, I mean, Barcelona is in Catalonia, yes? And there, yeah. and there is, a, there is a, an a autonomy impulse there. And I think that that led them to become aware of and have maybe a governmental interest in blockchain and cryptocurrencies, maybe even, you know, a national or subnational currency. I, I'm, I think Barcelona itself is pretty blockchain and tech and policy sound yeah. is, is that correct i get that feeling historically yeah 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 i mean yeah, barcelona yeah. catalonia they they are very tech oriented they have a very big tech um hub that you, they, you can call them mm -hmm. uh blockchain related yes it's developing especially because barcelona is very interesting for people who moving in i mean yeah. it's like that's why what was george was saying that for him, like in the music industry, it's the place to be in terms of that you you can stay in one place and you will still meet all of the people. Same like mm -hmm. Dubai is very similar. It's like Dubai, they, they come to you. Everyone everyone's happy to come to Dubai. Everyone's happy to come to Barcelona. You don't you don't exactly. need to, you don't need to convince them. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't really need to go anywhere. It's like the people will anyway come sooner or later. That's it. It's yeah. like probably London, Dubai, Barcelona, like maybe New York as well. These are the cities who just attract people. Yeah, hundred hundred percent. Now, though, you know, just I'll give you some of my impressions of the show. You you had, sort I think, opera singers or people dressed in historical outfits singing from the balcony. Yes, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, that that was great. You had like a yoga or meditation thing on the second floor, which for an uptight person like me was pretty funny. You know, because I'm not I'm not necessarily the guy that's gonna relax or do yoga or meditation. Probably you can tell by the way I talk. But I tried it and it was cool. You had excellent food. You know, they had the, the dinners afterwards and you had a DJ at the end playing and I think you had like a light show or something. It, 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 it was a lot. Am, am I missing something? It was, I mean, you, you had DJs afterwards. Who was the DJ last time? It was someone famous. Uh, we had, yeah, Fede. Fede Legrand, yeah. Fede Legrand, exactly. You know, he, he does like give it up for Detroit song. You know exactly. I, I remember. I, I was I'm like, "Oh my god, I, I'm reliving the '90s. This is great, and I like the '90s." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, maybe, maybe the early 2000s. I'm maybe I'm updating myself. Yeah, better than Grant. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. at least like what the hell are you talking about? So the it, it, it is like a festival. It's like a show, and it's interesting that you made the design choice. That it's a little bit of it's like overwhelming choice or overwhelming sensation. You're it's a little bit dis disorienting in a good way because there's so much going on. There's a stage, there's the social, there's the the, the 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 venue that you've selected has wonderful courtyard in the middle where, you know, if you're coming down from the stairs or out of the main theater, you're, you're mingling there and it's picturesque. It's it's really, it, it's it's really neat. So, and it, let me ask you, the, the last time you had a whole Korean contingent, which I wasn't expecting, but I'm like, okay, this is interesting. How did that happen? And what's the connection? Sorry, what? Uh, <laughs> you're like, what the hell? What I, 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 if I remember when I was there last time, you had a large number of Korean companies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Korean companies. Yes. 
So yeah, so this is the companies coming uh, and brought by National Agency of IT of South Korea. They usually okay. come in, in, a, in a, like a bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> because they have this program for the new uh, for the new companies of the blockchain sector of Web3. Mm -hmm. Um, they are not very fancy the tokens and, and like crypto itself, but they fancy the technology. So all of their yeah. companies are more related to the like blockchain technology. So usually in the beginning of the year, they choose these best startups, let's say, uh, mm. and then they take them to Europe for presenting their services and also mingle and network uh, with the people from, from the other countries. Yes. So historically, become, because they've been participating in D4A in the past, so they came into the DAX for us like a, you know, <laughs> uh, like, like a, well, it's just a transition, let's call it. <laughs> the legacy, the legacy attendees. The legacy, yes, this is the legacy. <laughs> That's really, it, it was neat to see because it's a little bit different. I was like, oh, here I am in Barcelona and the second floor is filled with cool Korean companies. I'm like, it, it was kind of a shock, but it was neat to see. So who comes to DAX Force? Who, who's your who's your target audience? <clears throat> a good question, because in the you, beginning you have an answer. we had, uh, yeah, like uh, wow, uh, who will come to to the Dex Force Festival? The people from um, you know that this world of uh, metaverse, uh, uh, crypto, DeFi, blah, blah, or the people who likes electronic music. Uh, only ones, you know, that a party, a party, a party. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a, a kind of a, a combination, you know, the people who likes the technology always likes electronic music or mm -hmm. the festival or whatever. So it's like a, maybe a, a combination of these two worlds. No sé, I, um, I de todo. I, I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, there is uh, both. Uh, both, yeah. <laughs> it's not really maybe we are focused in the in the blockchain crypto mm -hmm. with three you know but uh plus uh, as is a part a party uh, we understand that not everyone likes electronic and blah blah so that's why we this year we are going to do some kind of actions for the uh, the, the music you know to have more diversified no como más música diversa uh, for all the people who comes, so the real people is that people of from the Congress, you know, who likes it continuing going to a party, but in the same place, you know. So, I, I, I think, you know, my, my personal opinion is I love electronic music. You don't need to make everyone happy, and the more yeah. electronic music you have, the better. So, the, if my vote counts, that that's my vote. I would not be, you know. Of course, we need to have funk. Be, we obviously they have your funk bands, but you know it's part of the energy of this place. Um, yes, doing well, it's it's a classic venue that's from centuries ago, and you're playing some rock and house and techno, and you know it, it's like that. That's a very cool vibe. So I would be, in my humble opinion, I'd be careful getting rid of that because that, that's part of what made it fantastic. So. Mm -hmm. No, we're not going to read out of that. Don't worry. It's just that we're trying to become more inclusive in a certain way. Sure. I would say yeah. that it's building on the point of George. Uh, the, originally, we've been just focusing more like on the people from the ecosystem of the DAX tools, mm -hmm. uh, which is a DeFi market. So it's crypto investors, crypto traders, plus the people, of course, from generally web free space, especially if they live in Barcelona or nearby, who, mm -hmm. who would come and who also like the music. So for this year, uh, while we're still keeping the big eye and we want more international community to come into the Dark Force Festival, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the music preferences, what George was saying, is just because um, this time the big hall will be dedicated to the electronic music as it used to be. But for example, the Golden Room will mm -hmm. be used for more Latin music, the, the oh. like pop, like pop electronic music, something like that, so that the people who, because there are people who doesn't like the electronic music, they don't exactly. find fun of that. They should have a pop, a place where they still can relax, dance, and enjoy. Sure. That's it. Okay, That's okay. it. I, I, I can live with this. Now, we're going to wrap up the show pretty soon, but let me ask, if someone wants to speak, exhibit, sponsor, or collaborate, which I 
I imagine people want to because I I'm telling you it's listen I'm not an advisor they're not paying me I'm telling you this this is a good show this is why I'm having it on my show to, to talk about it if someone wants to do one of those things what kind of people should they be like who who is a good partner and then what, what how do they interact with you and what are you looking for? Well, well, first of all, we are very open. Uh, so we close in different type of deals and partnerships, monetary and non-monetary as well. Mm -hmm. So in, let's say we work with different communities. To give you an example, we're working, for example, right now with Crypto Mondays London. Mm -hmm. uh, we are happy to work with the Plastic Academy, people who are actually teaching how to play. Well, I don't need to explain to you what is the Crypto Mondays, but the Plastic Academy, yeah. maybe people don't know in the crypto world. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> right, right. So, uh, so the Plastic Academy is in Barcelona. They are teaching you to become a DJ. So anybody from seven years old till till uh, no ninety seven years old. So <laughs> a professional uh, so DJ academy, professional with titulation. You know that you okay. you have your professional. So this is one of you yeah, get a certificate yeah, of DJ. Uh, sorry, did you do you get your DJ certification from the EU? Is there a... hey, hey. Uh, yeah, more or less, something like this? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a, an official uh, title. Official, wow. You're gonna get a degree. Am I, but, but, when you were when you were saying you know from the age seventy to the age whatever, I'm glad you didn't cut it off at fifty because you know some of us are still wanting to be DJ. You know, I'm, I'm just. You can. I also yeah. plan to do it one day, and my son will probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I can't think of anything better than DJ DJ Einstein. I, what DJ Einstein, no, that would sound. DJ Einstein. <laughs> and then, so you know, I, after I learned Spanish, I learned to DJ, and then in twenty thirty, I'll be the DJ at your show. Um, so yeah, just continuing to answer your question. So this is yeah, like yeah. a very diverse range of potential partners. We also like if people are, for example, if you are part of the crypto world and at the same time you're the DJ, you can reach out to us through many different forms we have on our website and apply to, to play. Well, of course, you're going to be challenged maybe, right? Whether you're going to go through the interview, but welcome. Uh, in terms of sponsorship, we have all range of sponsorships and exhibiting opportunities for this year. So you can find anything from 2,000 euros to 150,000 euros, like to all the bigger scale, like depends mm -hmm. on the scale you want. Uh, and of course, we can do very much tailor-made uh, sponsorships for, for our partners or whatever. Uh, feel free to reach out to us. And in terms of, of course, we currently seeking for speakers, uh, for all type of collaborators. For example, only today we've been uh, talking to the people who want to, for example, uh, do the yoga session during the Dexworks Festival. Mm -hmm. So why not? That's also a possibility if you have a mindfulness session or anything. So all type of art and creation. And actually that's a very important point because this year we also want to dedicate more time generally to creativity. So not okay. anymore just music and tech, also the creativity if it's um if it's art of any kind basically mm -hmm. if you are a painter if you are a sculptor if you are... oh oh that's it. look at her she, she's, a, she's a painting she's a sculpture <laughs> uh, well it, 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 yeah, it. let's keep going the, the, show, the show must go on oh there she yeah, is yeah yeah sorry oh, no, no, don't worry. Okay, you actually, you look like a sculpture. Yeah. No, uh, Camila, co continuing with the words of Basi, um, in this year we will have uh, a space uh, more dedicated for that people who wants to have his minute glory gold gold minute. I know. I don't yeah. know. Well, you, need, you, you, you can say fifteen minutes of fame. Exactly, yeah. like uh, open mic, uh, a DJ table, as you can play some music for everyone, mm -hmm. or maybe if you have a, a band, you can go there and play some music, but obviously previously with an uh, inscription, uh, mm -hmm. subscription of that. Yeah, we want more, uh, you know, this kind of actions like um, artist participation, like be, be more interactive, that uh, people brings more 
¿no? More uh, hum humanity, ¿no? Como más que la gente uh, see that uh, everyone can do this, but... I, I understand. You're, you're, making, you're, making, you're democratizing the experience. You're giving, giving everyone a chance to express themselves in new ways, exactly. in a way that you exactly. facilitate. That's, exactly. that's a beautiful idea. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, just to wrap it up, any last thoughts, any last comments? I don't know. Uh, Welcome to the Dexforce Festival, guys. Join us on 4 Force. and 5 of October in Barcelona. Por favor. We'll be there. Me and Irina will be there. Love you guys. You're super. Love you. Love you. Super, super, super. I'm going to stop recording. Very well done. <laughs>